Hey, I'm Sides. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own unique drum kits in Logic Pro and save them for future projects. Let's jump right into Logic Pro. I can't wait to show you this. Okay, so here we are in the DAW. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a new track. All I'm going to do is right click here, do new software track. Then I'm going to go over to instrument. I'm going to go down to where it says drum machine designer. Now we have drum machine designer, right? So now you can actually drag in individual drum sounds here. So you could do that right in Logic if you want. You can just audition each one of these. And let's say I want this one instead. I can just put this in. And then you could do the same thing for the snare. You just click on the snare. Here are all the snare options. And you can go through each of these and build up your own unique drum kit. Another way that you can put in cool sounds is you can build them from samples. I really like using Splice, but you can use anything. So let's say I go to Splice. I open up to my account here just on the app. And let's say I go through and I go kick. Let's say I like that kick. So I can just go through, drag that here. And now I have my kick sound. I can also edit some of this sound wave if I wanted to, right? Because like at the end, it has a little weird snap. So I want to add a fade so it doesn't happen. I can even add a more dramatic fade if I want to. And then you could just go through each of them. So let me just go through them really quickly. Let's see what I would add for a snare. We'll just do that one. Let me find a hat. Once you fill out as many as you want, this is pretty much all I am looking for with my kit typically is just a snare, kick, open hat, and closed hat. But you can fill in as many of these boxes as you want. And now I'm going to go through and just double click on them and just relabel them. So I'm going to go snare, kick, open hat, closed hat, or I'm going to call this house drum. One other cool thing that I want to show you is that you can click one of these and then you can go to recorder and you can just record in a sound. So let's say you want to do like a vocal recording of a sound. So I want to use my other mic. So I'm going to go to input one. Hey. And now I have it in here. So check it out. I can edit it here. I can relabel it, hey, and I can also play these all out on my MIDI controller. Hey, 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 hey. Pretty cool. So now when you're happy with it, you can just click on this title here. Now go to user patches. Click save. Now you're going to have it safe here. And now if you open up a new software track, go to user patches, house drums, here it is. How cool is that? So that's how you can build your custom drum kits that you can use on every single song. Now, one more other really cool thing I want to show you that you can do with Drum Machine Designer is if you find a drum loop that you like. Let's say I like that one. All you have to do is drag it over here, select Drum Machine Designer, and it will automatically put out each drum beat in a different box. So it'll break up the transients and put them into the separate boxes for you. And you can also play that on your MIDI keyboard. And if you want to make a quick B, all you have to do is press P, go over to Step Sequencer, and I'm just going to show you how I would make one really fast.
In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use Step Sequencer, so make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on. Well, I hope that was super helpful and you have lots of fun building up your own drum kits. You can make your own samples. You can use samples from Logic. You can use samples from Splice. You can use samples from a friend. I will see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel.